Hey guys, welcome back to the Market Results Lessons playlist. In today's Market Results Lessons video, we'll be taking a look at the lessons from Larry Hyde. So who is Larry Hyde and why should we pay attention to him? Larry Hyde managed to generate an average annual compounded return of over 30% since the day he first started up to the point of the interview with Jack Schrager. Not only did Larry Hyde manage to generate such returns in the stock market, he managed to do it with minimal risk. In fact, the largest loss in any six-month period for him was only 15% and under 1% in any 12-month period. So basically, Larry Hyde managed to generate significant returns in the stock market with minimal risk. So these are the market research lessons from Larry Hyde. The first is his approach to the markets. The second is the H plus law of large numbers. The third is trading indicators that he take a look at. The fourth is risk. And the fifth is trading secrets. The first market results lessons from Larry Hyde is his approach to the markets. For Larry Hyde, his objective was never to make the largest percentage returns. Wait, shouldn't the main objective for any investor or trader in the stock market is to make the largest percentage returns? Well, not for Larry Hyde. His aim was to achieve the best growth rate consistently with extremely rigorous risk control. So for Larry Hyde, it was more about achieving a consistent growth rate with strong risk management and risk control. And I stand with Larry Hyde on this point. When it comes to investing and trading in the stock market, my main aim is not to achieve huge returns in the stock market. Sure, achieving huge returns in the stock market is still desirable for me. However, I place greater emphasis and more priority towards having a strong risk management and strong risk control and a consistent growth rate rather than huge returns in the stock market. And that is also what Larry Hyde tried to achieve in the stock market. He managed to achieve an average annual compounded rate of return of over 30%. At first glance, 30% returns in the stock market might not seem like a huge amount for certain investors and traders out there. However, if we compounded this rate of return, it can compound our capital to a huge amount of money after a few years. In fact, if you take a look at this example, if you started with an initial capital size of $1,000 and you managed to achieve an annual rate of return of 30% each and every year, if you compounded that rate of return over 10 years, your initial $1,000 would become $13,785. That is more than 10x your capital. And this is achieved without you adding any further additional capital into your portfolio. That is the power of compounding and a consistent growth rate. That is why Larry Hyde prioritizes strong consistent growth rate along with rigorous risk control over outside returns in the market but inconsistently. And that is the first market results lesson that I learned from Larry Hyde. The next lesson is H plus law of large numbers. H in the markets is defined as something that while you might not know what exactly will happen tomorrow, you can have a very good idea of what will happen over the long run. When it comes to the stock market, not many people understand how age works in the stock market. They believe that if you have an age in the stock market, you are able to predict whether the market is going up or going down in the next days. But age in the markets doesn't work that way. Think of age in the markets kind of similar to like predicting how long more a 61-year-old person can live on. While it's not possible for us to predict how long more one 61-year-old person is able to live, we are better able to predict and calculate the life expectancy of a large group of 61-year-olds, say 100,000 people who are at the age of 61 years old. And this is what insurance company does. They are unable to predict a situation for any one single individual, but they are better able to do that when it comes to a larger sample size. So say for a large group of 61-year-olds, their life expectancy is 20 more years. Does this mean that every single one of the 61-year-old is going to live for another 20 years? No, it just means that the average 61-year-old is likely to have a life expectancy of 20 more years. Certain individuals will live longer, while certain individuals will live shorter. But all in all, their life expectancy is likely to be another 20 years. And this is similar to investing and trading in the stock market. If you have an age in the stock market, it doesn't mean that you can predict the direction in which the stock market or an individual stock will go to. But over a longer period of time and a larger sample size, you are able to predict with a higher accuracy and achieve a higher probability of success in the stock market. And that is how Larry Hyde and other market wizards manage to be profitable in the stock market over the long run. The third market research lesson is the trading indicators that Larry Hyde pay attention to. The first is market reaction to news and the second is price action. So now let's take a look in greater detail at what Larry Hyde takes a look at for his trading indicators. The first one is market reaction to news. So Larry Hyde mentions that if a market doesn't respond to important news in the way that it should, 
it is telling you something very important. For example, if an important news is released and the news is bullish in nature and the stock market turns down instead of going up, this tells us that the market is weak. And on the other hand, if bad news is released and the stock market continues to go up and brush off the news, this is telling us that the market is strong. So this is one of the trading indicators that Larry Hyde takes a look at in the markets. The second one is price action. And that is when a market makes a historic high, it is telling us something. It is telling us there is buying pressure and demand for the stock regardless of what the news is. Similarly, if the market makes historic lows, it is also telling us something. When it comes to trading indicators, these are some of the trading indicators that Larry Hyde takes a look at in the markets. And that is the third market wizard's lesson from Larry Hyde. The fourth market wizard lesson is risk, specifically on risk management. And the first point is never bet your lifestyle. Larry Hyde mentions that if you never bet your lifestyle from a trading standpoint, nothing bad will ever happen to you. Because if you think about it, if you keep your risk minimal and you have strong risk control, even if that position turns against you, the losses that you suffer on that position will be bare minimal. But instead, there are people who choose to ignore risk control and risk management. And when they are investing or trading in the markets, they might use up a huge portion of their capital in one position. And in the process, take on a lot of risk. And if the position goes against them, then they are likely to suffer very large losses. Right? So the first lesson when it comes to risk management and risk control, according to Larry Hyde, is never bet your lifestyle. So when we are investing or trading in the markets, we always want to keep our losses and risk minimal. The second point is quantify our risk. Larry Hyde mentions that while we can't quantify our rewards in the market, we can quantify our risk. We'll never know exactly how much an individual stock or the market can go up in price. Therefore, we can't really quantify the returns and the rewards. However, we can quantify our risk. And one way we can quantify our risk is by using stop losses when we are entering the markets. By using stop losses in the markets, we are determining an exit point where we exit our position in the markets. So if that position reached that point, it will automatically help us sell our position and exit the market at that point. Therefore, by setting stop losses in the stock market, we are able to quantify our risk. And if we are able to quantify our risk, we will be able to know what is the worst possible outcome there is, and it gives us tremendous freedom in doing that. The third part on risk control and risk management is never risk more than 1%. For Larry Hyde, he only risks 1% of his total capital on any single position. And therefore, he is able to be indifferent to any individual trade. Because in the event that a trade goes against him, Larry Hyde is only losing 1% of his total capital. Larry Hyde mentions that if we do not manage our risk, they will eventually carry us out of the markets. The fifth market wizard's lesson from Larry Hyde is his trading secret. And his trading secret is this. We don't have to pick the tops and the bottoms in the stock market to make money, as long as we have strict risk control. And we have talked about risk control and risk management in the earlier market wizard's lesson. But now I want to focus on the point that we don't have to pick tops and bottoms to make money in the markets. I think there are some investors and traders out there who believe that in order to profit from the markets, we have to pick the tops and the bottoms. However, we don't have to do that in order to be consistently profitable in the stock market. And this is what helped Larry Hyde manage to be consistently profitable in the stock market, achieving an average compounded return of 30%. Larry Hyde shared this trade example that he did in 1986 on a coffee trade. During that time, Larry Hyde entered his position in the coffee market at around $1.30. And after he entered his position, coffee prices went up. And it went up all the way to $1.70. And that is the time where Larry Hyde exited his position and took profits on his coffee trade. But as it turns out, after Larry Hyde exited his coffee position, coffee prices went up. It went all the way up to $2.80. By exiting at $1.70, Larry Hyde subsequently missed out a huge portion of the move upwards. So if Larry Hyde entered at $1.30 and stayed all the way to $2.80, Larry Hyde would have more than double the amount of profits that he received on his coffee trade. But the thing is this, after reaching a price of $2.80, coffee prices fell all the way to $1 subsequently. So if Larry Hyde tried to pick the tops for the coffee prices, he might actually end up at $1 instead of $2.80. And whatever potential profits that he might have achieved previously was subsequently turned to a loss instead. So there are two main reasons why Larry Hyde believes that we do not need to pick tops and bottoms to be profitable in the stock market. Firstly, it's almost impossible to predict the tops and bottoms. And if we are not careful, we might actually end up with a loss rather than profits. And the second thing is having some profits is better than none. By exiting at $1.70, Larry Hyde still have some profits. But if he tried to pick tops, he might end up at $1. 
and at one dollar Larry Hyde would have made some losses so the profits would turn into losses right so the fifth market wizards lesson from Larry Hyde is that we do not have to pick the tops and bottoms to be consistently profitable if you have enjoyed and learned something from this video smash that like button because it will really help the channel grow and allow me to produce more content such as this and if you are new to this channel and haven't already subscribed Make sure you subscribe to my channel because each week I release new videos about investing, trading, and the stock market. I'll see you in those other videos. To your financial success.